celebration of black philanthropy is coming to Detroit this summer. The Detroit Historical Museum is hosting a display titled Giving Back the Soul of Philanthropy Reframed and Exhibited beginning on June 2nd. The exhibit features portraits and stories of more than 90 black Detroit philanthropists. It is presented by the volunteer collective known as the Soul of Philanthropy Michigan. I got all of the details from steering committee co-chairs Colin Mays and Nakia Washington. So I, I, I love the idea behind this exhibit. Uh, it, it's the kind of thing that I think is always been there and is out there, but lots of people probably have no idea about some of the people uh, that you're trying to celebrate here. Let's start with where you come up with this idea. Where does the soul of philanthropy come from, Colin? Sure. Well, the exhibit uh, was actually created by a woman named Valeda Fuller. He's based in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and the exhibit has traveled to over uh, 30 communities at this point uh, since its inception. Um, and we have had the opportunity to uh, kind of see other cities and how they've modeled the exhibit. And we wanted to add our own spin to it. So it was the first time it's coming to Detroit. Uh, to tell a little story, at least to begin to tell the story, the wrong history of black men. Yeah. Uh, and Nakia, as I said, this idea of black philanthropy for lots of reasons uh, doesn't get the air uh, that that other kinds of philanthropy gets. And so lots of people just don't think of African-Americans uh, when they think of philanthropy. I feel like one of the one of the aims of this uh uh, this exhibit is to show them just how wrong they are. Yeah, that's exactly right, Stephen. Uh, I mean, philanthropy really, I mean, a lot of us think about it in terms of big names, big dollars, uh, but it really expands beyond treasure into time, talent, testimony. And uh, as Black folks in this country who have been, you know, historically marginalized from gaining capital, we've had to show up in different ways with our philanthropy, and we've done so in really phenomenal ways. But even when we look at dollars, um, a report by the Kellogg Foundation in 2012 still reported that Black folks uh, per capita were of the most uh, the most philanthropic racial group in the United States. And then when we look at, um, you know, volunteer time, even uh, the Lilly School, which is another one of our partners, also reported that the, uh, Black folks are more likely to volunteer than other racial groups. So we're showing up with our time, talent, treasure, ties, testimony in so many ways. Um, and we're so excited to celebrate and call out those unheard stories. Yeah. Uh, so, so Colin, one of the other interesting things about this is, of course, the connection between uh, Black philanthropy and the history of discrimination and segregation and things that held African Americans back. The 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 focus for so many uh, of these folks is on uh, erasing inequality. Uh, talk about uh, that nexus and how important that is in our community. So as Kia said, you know, we have historically as Black Americans back in philanthropic, not just with dollars, but with time, talent, and treasures, and really just kind of reshaping the narrative of what it means to be a philanthropist. Um, it's not what you may uh, think it is. It's not what you may hear. It was everyday action and everyday thought that we put in and pour into our communities, uh, which is what we try to do with our local component. Um, about this exhibit. So it's going to be two parts. We're going to have a full fledged exhibit in 12 uh, created by Valeda. I mean, we're going to have uh, local content and just focus on those um, hidden gems or maybe not so hidden gems by uh, Detroit Philanthropy. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about some of the folks uh, who people will get to know better uh, in this exhibit. Well, we, we have um, six key categories that we focused it on. So we have clergy, community champions education, service organizations, which is really important for Lakia and I. Um, business, of course, we're about under, under break about why um, business people past and present, and again, last, but certainly got into the divide nine, uh, which both he and I are affiliated with. And it's important that we showcase and tell which story um, by giving through all of those six various sectors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nakia, it's important, I think, that this is at the Detroit Historical Museum, um, which is a place that, uh, of course, we've struggled for a long time 
to be more inclusive, uh, to feature more about African Americans uh, in our community. I feel like this is this is kind of a milestone. This is a milestone, and it's, uh, you know, I started my journey of Black philanthropy study uh, and research at the Charles Wright Museum, and we were partnering at that time uh, back in 2016 to tell the story of the uh, 67, um, uh, Detroit 67 uh, mm -hmm. uh, rebellion, and so we, um, it's, you know, what is it, six, seven years later, it's so amazing to see where Detroit Historical Museum and the society, Detroit Historical Society has come and wanting to tell these stories. I mean, they have been such a, an amazing partner um, going above and beyond our ask. Um, this comes in, you know, after a number of exhibits that they've done to uh, showcase uh, black business owners that they just had uh, and entrepreneurs. Uh, I just went up there the other day and they were telling stories about incarceration. Um, so we're really excited to be uh, included in this journey. It was a, a yes from them from the beginning. They have a great team over there. Uh, um, we have folks that sit on our steering committee. So we are really excited to be along with them on this journey of further inclusion uh, and connecting with Detroiters in a deeper way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also always want to point out how different and special we are as Detroiters. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. This is a, a unique space on the, the face of the earth. And, and I imagine that there are things in this exhibit that will jump out at us because it's about uh, Detroit. To talk about how Detroit uh, kind of shines in this space differently than other. Alan? Well, for us, uh, Detroit, of course, is historically uh, one of the blackest, I guess you could say the blackest city uh, in, in America. And we want to showcase how we historically have given uh, in Detroit, uh, beyond just the dollars, right? I mean, it goes back to giving of servants and giving up um, time. And when you think of philanthropy, that's what we want you to take away from this exhibit is that everybody is a philanthropist. Alice. Stephen, you're a philanthropist. He is a philanthropist. Uh, I'm a philanthropist. Everybody watching is a philanthropist. And we want them to have that takeaway once they leave the exhibit and once the summer concludes, because it's going to be a big party, Stephen. You got to come out and celebrate. Yes, I uh, I absolutely will. Uh, okay, so congratulations on uh, putting all of this together and bringing it to us at the Detroit Historical Museum. Talk uh, quickly, Nikki, about uh, how people can uh, get involved and uh, come see it. Absolutely. So uh, we open on. Uh, June 2nd, and we'll be there through August 27th. So all summer, uh, you can visit us. We have a big focus on youth, uh, and we will be doing uh, partnerships with different youth, pro youth programs to make sure as many young people get into that exhibit. So it's totally family friendly, it's interactive, and we really want youth to understand at an early age their um, contributions to philanthropy and to be able to see themselves uh, as philanthropists as well. So please bring out your your uh, family and children this summer. Uh, we have over 15 programs, a huge program on Juneteenth that we're so excited uh, yeah. uh, to partner with Detroit Historical Museum as the, the official public opening. So uh, we'll, we have a ton of things planned for that. One of that I'll drop is Urban Art Orchestra will be performing. They also mm -hmm. talk about framing, you know, our contributions in a different way in terms of music. So really excited to partner with them. Uh, but other than that, we would invite you all to go to tsopmichigan.org, click Get Updates, so you stay in the loop about all of our programs. Uh, and then also the button right above that is Donate. We are uh, in our crowdfunding portion of this to continue, uh, not just our efforts in Detroit this summer, but thinking about where does this go after the exhibit's here? This is a continued conversation. So we invite folks to come out, celebrate with us, stay updated, and uh, give where you can.